What's up guys, Dr. D from One Hive Invicta here, bringing you our Week 1 Season 2 War Recap from the CWL Rising. Uh, One Hive Invicta faced uh, North Awakens, uh, didn't quite go the way that we would have hoped. Um, North Awakens walked away with the win, it was 84, uh, Invicta 85, uh, North Awakens. Let's go ahead and hop over and check out the War Statistics. Okay, so here are the basic war statistics. Uh, 24 triples for Invicta, 25 triples for North Awakens. Um, it looks close. It's uh, actually a bit further than, than, than what it looks like. Uh, R11's actually um, really cleaned house. So you can see Josephus here uh, got a 79% two-star on their number one. Um, and both of our other 11s, I mean, they were dips on 10s, but uh, they had uh, six packs. We had no uh, 10v10 triples on our side. However, North Awakens had three 10v10 triples. And you know what? Props to Wolf, who um, got a, uh, a six pack, I believe. There's, there's one. Um, oh, maybe he didn't. I was thinking that, that Wolf had a six pack. But I might be wrong. Let's see here. Uh, triple there. No. No. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Wolf is a Town Hall 10 who had a, uh, a six pack. Very impressive. Um, our, our 10s uh, struggled a little bit. We could not get uh, number one two starred with a 10. Um, that hurt us. Uh, that's where that extra star was lost. They they had a lot of um, 11 v 10 dips that did not uh, get the um, the triple on the Town Hall 10. Uh, as far as nines go, um, our nines did uh, a pretty good job. I think we cleared all but maybe one base, maybe two we had to dip on. I was thinking only one. Um, yeah, we had one dip on a Town Hall 9. Um, so 84, 85... Uh, we're going to go ahead and watch a few of these um, attacks. I'm going to show um, a couple of the uh, Town Hall 10 uh, dip triples just because um, my Town Hall 11s never get any love. And so uh, we're going to show just a couple. Also, um, if we learned anything this war, it's that uh, these dips are no guarantee. But you can look, this, this was a very quick attack. Um, a minute 20 and it was over with. This is what they call, you know, the, um, <laughs> they call it the bitch attack. I don't, I don't particularly love uh, that. That's what it's called, but that is what it is. So um, a whole slew of bowlers uh, and, and some witches and basically two or three jumps, depending on what it's going to take to push through this base. Oftentimes you'll see a, um, a golem, um, in the CC or something along those lines. He did not bring a golem in the CC here. He brought a uh, Max Pekka and a giant or maybe a couple of giants. And so anyway, um, just kind of marches through this base. Um, the, if, if we learned anything, um, this war, it was that, uh, one, um, our, our town hall tens have got to step up, but but two, this this attack just seems to crush uh, most town hall tens by a town hall eleven. Uh, the extra spell, the extra troop space, you know, it's just um, it's it's a bit much. Uh, Nota still has not popped his queen's ability, um, and just tons of troops left. So it was a, a very nice attack. Let's speed it up here. Um, so that was Panda. Let's have a look at Josephus, or Jose, most of us call him. Uh, so about two minutes here. Um, you'll see that most of these clear pretty quickly. Um, again, this is uh, what they call the bitch attack, but this he, Josephus is using a, a golem and a giant in the CC, brings his own Max Pekka, um, and, and far fewer... Um, Far fewer bowlers than what we've been seeing or what we saw in the last raid. So we'll speed this up just a little bit now. Funnel is set. Um, and as with every attack in, in this game, um, funnel is so important here. So uh, these troops are in. King is in. Queen is in. Uh, has already popped the, the Warden's ability. Um, 
handles the CC with no problem. Uh, notice these troops down here still working away. This is a great thing about witches, right? They keep spawning these uh, skellies, and those skellies distract point defenses. Witches are great against point defenses, not the greatest against uh, uh, splash damage unless there's a healer on them. Um, notice no healers here, though. So, working our way to the back side of this base, we'll speed it up just a little bit as they push through here. A little bit worried about that queen, her health is quite low, but she does survive, and, and he picks up the three for us. And Matt. Matt is our Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 War General, and so he's coming with the, the same sort of uh, attack here. Um, we'll start by setting his funnel. There we go on either side, two golems in, then a jump, and then a whole mess of bowlers up through the gut there. Um, golem is in, rage to take out that uh, um, inferno tower, pops the grand warden's ability right there. Um, that's, that's usually key, getting the grand warden's ability popped. Um, oftentimes at that first inferno, I mean, if you can push through it and, and hit it at the second, it's fantastic. But you want to use it when you've got lots of troops on the field yet. Um, so, uh, almost to the queen here. I can speed this up just a little. Uh, notice the, the, um, witches and bowlers just working their way around the sides. Those skellies distracting point defenses just long enough to take out uh, so that the bowlers can take out that point defense. And that is it. It is tree stars in the bag. Nice job. All right. Um, let's push down here and let's have a look at some of these Town Hall 9. So this is uh, Lee. Um, <laughs> it's actually Victory who's using a few different um, people's accounts right now, but this this war he used Lee's account. Now this is my actual attack. I got a 99% two star on this. Just killed me. Ran out of time. Um, so you can see though it is a quad Lalo. Um, it's it's a, a cold blooded Lalo. You've got a single air defense here right next to your queen. That is a recipe for a cold blooded Lalo right there. If ever there was one. Um, <laughs> he uh, is, is a little bit faster on the entry than I was. Um, I killed the CC outside here, uh, which allowed my golem to survive and my king to actually take out uh, this sweeper, which which um, made it um, a bit uh, made my Lalo a bit easier. I just took too long. I'm too slow. So king is there, um, killing all some skellies. Finally jumps, but just loses it uh, right there. So it starts the Lalo portion. Queen is still up. She's gonna take out those both of those sweepers and she's gonna take out one of these um, expos. I believe she gets that expo. There we go. Um, Lalo is going. So he's got, uh, has not deployed his, his max um, uh, Lava Hound yet. And he is slowly working his way up here. There comes the Max Lava Hound. He is kind of burning through stuff there. Uh, we'll finally get this AD down. Heal spell is going to come down right over here, which is uh, really needed. He is he is quite low um, on on loons at this point, and he's walking into a Tesla farm and uh, an, an air defense. But uh, no worries. He winds up getting it, and this Hound does pop, I believe, right. Oh, there we go. Yep. And so lots of lots of cleanup going on. Uh, that was my problem. Um, did not have the cleanup. Uh, not all of my hounds popped. Um, but that is it. He's got two swag spells that he will swag here in just a second. And there they are. And it is three stars in the bag. Nice job, victory. Um, moving right down, Frank. This is not the Frank from 2.0 that we used to... That, that we all know of. This is um, a different Frank. It might be the same account. He might have sold it, um, but that Frank actually stopped. And you can see what we've got going on here is a, uh, the, I, I mean, I, I think <laughs> what they're calling it here at, uh, at Town Hall 9 is not the same thing that they call it at Town Hall 10. They call it the Witch Slap here. Um, at Town Hall 10, they've been calling it the Bitch or Bitch Attack. Uh, but uh, setting that funnel um, with the uh, with the witches 
and then just pushing into the core. Now he does something interesting here. Um, notice that he brought a, a quake to quake in. It's going to give him access to a whole bunch of this base, um, and then it is just uh, working its way through. So um, witches are still up. Uh, this is actually very nice. Um, he was able to keep these healers clear from the uh, air defenses. Healers now switch over here, which has uh, worked out pretty good, except for that one air defense there. But uh, air defense is gone. Just a point defense here, and it's completely distracted by skellies. Um, and that's it. Look at that army of skellies working its way around here. And that is it for Frank. Tree stars in the bag. Nice job, buddy. Oh, what do we got? <laughs> uh, the hut. All right. Um, big Tex. Uh, another one of these. So this is the uh, a, a little bit different um, way of setting it, but uh, still, um, he's got the funnel. He's got two jumps instead of a jump in a in a quake here. Um, Healers uh, stay on those witches. Jump is in. Uh, some of those skellies go in with, with the kill squad. Some stay on the outside, and they're working their way around. Um, this healer switched over to the queen, which is fine. Uh, we did find out this war that it does not always work the way that we want. Um, notice there those, uh, those witches that were in the core just got um, eaten alive by a, by a mortar. Um, but... Uh, He's going to push through here, takes out that point defense. Um, Queen is going to beat through this wall. And right now, there's only two things that are going to stand in the way here, and they are both point defenses. Those point defenses get distracted, and it is GG. So that is Tree Stars in the bag. Nice job, Big Tex. Another hut. Oh, a Tesla. Troll Tesla. That's why it's nice to sometimes bring a, uh, a loon or two with. And so when you talk to Riggle, who does this quite a, quite a bit, he'll tell you he always brings a loon. All right, James. Uh, James is coming with uh, a Bolalo. It's funny. This this used to be the um, <laughs> the it, it used to be a, a really new attack, and and it's interesting now because the Bolalo has become kind of a a standard attack. The way that um, a, a regular Lalo or a hog a hog attack was not that long ago. Um, there we go. It's open. Bowlers come in. Very nice funnel set. And jump is down. They've got the queen. Rage is down. And I, I love bowlers under raids. They are so OP. Uh, the CC is under, uh, under poison. Queen is there. CC is now gone. Um, in comes... Uh, a couple of loons. These defenses here were distracted by a golemate that they just took out. And that's it. There's no air defenses left. And so he's just going to work his way around the base here, um, bringing in uh, hounds as tanks rather than waiting for them to pop. Um, works pretty nicely here. And I think he's going to drop this haste as soon as he's ready to move down towards these defenses. Get those loons down there as quick as possible. Uh, Hounds take a couple of black bombs. Oh, he might swag this haste. I, I can't remember. We'll speed it up just a little bit because that is it. It is tree stars in the bag. Nice job, James. Oh, I hate when that when that king stands out there, especially when he bounces around and you've got to try and kill him with loons. It's the worst. All right, Ant Man. Ant Man's coming with a Queen Walk Lalo. Um, has a I believe a hound in the CC. Uh, this is an interesting base. I think we kind of struggled a little bit with this base. Um, so let's speed it up here just a little bit. He's going to take out that air defense. And uh, the, the most important thing here now is that his uh, his queen and healers are going to be outside of the range of all of these other air defenses for the rest of the raid. I'm going to, he's got the CC. He's going to step up. He's going to take out the queen. 
Um, he's got his king over here just cleaning up some garbage. And there we go. Gets that enemy queen, and that's what he was waiting for. Now that she's down, two air defenses are down. He's going to start coming in with air defense or with his um, hounds. I might have come in from the other direction, uh, just given that that blower was there, but it probably wouldn't have mattered. There's a blower pointing in the other direction as well. So actually, this is probably a smart a smart direction to come into because he gets those expos out of the way right off the bat. Um, so uh, Troll Tesla up here um, gets that popped, and uh, yep, last hound is in. Um, and it will only be a second here, and that is it. There we go. Nothing else that's going to hurt these uh, loons at this point. Not with so many of them anyway. And it is Tree Stars in the bag. Nice job, Ant-Man. Very, very nice, um, Queen Walk Lalo. Love to see those. All right. We're going to skip over that. That is a dip. Uh, another Ant-Man attack. Adam. Let's have a look at Adam. Uh, so this is a kind of a weird looking base. Um, and Adam is coming with the, uh, again, another Witch Slap. Um, has a P.E.K.K.A. in the CC here. So starting to set his funnel over here. Um, starts setting the funnel over here. And uh, as, as per usual, um, a couple of jumps. And a couple of rages, that's your normal spell composition for this Witch Slap. Uh, P.E.K.K.A. is down, Funnel is set, everything is looking good. Um, everything is going to hop straight into the core here. And this P.E.K.K.A. actually, he gets so much value out of this P.E.K.K.A. Um, so, second jump is down, and that jump will give him access to almost everything. That queen will jump up, she'll get taken out. Um, it, it, it was a, a very, very well-executed attack. Queen is still working on this hound. Finally, uh, the hound pops, um, gets a, a poison down on the uh, queen and a little bit on the king there. Um, I believe his queen winds up actually taking out the enemy queen. So, uh, still have witches up top working their way around, and down here working their way around. I don't think he's lost a single witch, actually, at this point. Uh, witch takes out the king. Um, enemy queen is now down, and with two point defenses left, not a big deal. One wizard tower, which could be a big deal, but fortunately, um, all of his uh, healers are still up, and as long as those healers are up, uh, point defenses are, are not a problem for these witches. And so it is going to be a tree star. Nice job, Adam. I know his name is Adamantium. Uh, we used to call him Adam. So, Tiriatico. I'm not sure how to say his name. I think I probably screw it up every time I've done a recap with him in it. Uh, same sort of attack, right? Um, using these witches, uh, it, it actually creates such an amazing funnel right down the side of a base. Um, you know, if, if you can clear out all of the defenses on the side of the base, then you're free to march straight down the core with your um, king, queen, and, and bowlers. Uh, so he's working his way around here. Um, king is still up. Queen is still up. Just beating on the wall at this point. Uh, drops a, um, a, a couple of loons just to help clean up. And that is it. It is tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Tiriteco. Uh, Dida. So Dida, um, one, a beast attacker, but two, maybe the best bases I've ever seen. He is such a good base maker. Um, so a uh, couple of loons come in to take out this, uh, actually just to pull the CC, my bad. Um, queen is down. Obviously we've got a queen walk. We've got um, a bit of a lalo going on here. Uh, the plan is to get most of these air defenses with the queen. Um, There we go. Pops the queen's ability. We'll speed it up just a little bit here. Uh, so queen is working her way around. Um, she's going to pretty soon uh, start targeting these air defenses. There goes one. Ah, wizard gets the other air defense. I was lucky there. And 
queen is in and working her way around. He's sending in his uh, first hound and his second hound. Same time, has not got the queen yet. Drops a poison and skellies on that queen, and the skellies just eat her alive. And that is it. That is a very, very nice job. Uh, very sweet attack. And it is tree stars in the bag. Uh, his his uh, queen died up there and those healers switched over. And they're just sitting on a bunch of skellies at this point. The skellies that came out of that skelly spell. Um, so that is it. Tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Dida. All right. Um, Mitch. Uh, Mitch is also coming with a Lalo, not a Queen Walk. This is just a quad Lalo. Um, able to get to uh, one of these um, air defenses right up here. So we'll speed this up just a little bit. Pulls the CC out. Oh, he zaps an air defense. My bad. I totally missed that. Um, so has not pulled the full CC yet. The, just a few minions. Speed this up a little bit. His, his Lalo is in. Maybe he did pull the CC. I didn't, I didn't think he had the full thing. Um, but uh, just a beautiful pathing for this Lalo. Um, Queen is still up, still alive, and he does not have spells for her. So the plan is to get her with pups. And that's exactly what he does. And still has a hound up. I believe this hound pops here, but I don't know if any of the pups survived the pop. We'll see. Oh yeah, they definitely survived. And that is it. It is cleanup time. Three stars in the bag. Nice job, Mitch. Oh yeah, there, there was something in that CC yet. Uh, just a just a ground troop. Beautiful attack. All right. BDE. BDE is down here. Uh, you guys may be used to seeing him up in 2.0. He's helping out Invicta for CWL. Um, so, uh, coming in with, with a, a hog attack, you can see that this is going to be a uh, stoned hobo attack. We'll slow it down now. All three golems are in. Jump is down. Very, very nice funnel set. And everything is in at this point. Rage it up. It's going to poison the CC. Get that second jump down. And as soon as that, there we go, Wizard Tower is distracted. He's going to start coming in with his hogs. Still has a heal to use on his hogs, which is great. And we'll speed it up just a little bit here. Whoops. Um, hogs are working their way around. Going to need that heal here pretty soon. Um, I thought he used the heal. Yeah, there we go. Heal is down. Three-point defense is left. Plenty of power for those three-point defenses, and that is it. It is on to clean up. Tree stars in the bag. Very nice job, BDE. There we go. All right. Um, Adam, we've already seen one by Swapnil. Swapnil? I don't know. I don't know how he pronounces his name, but uh, you can see here we've got another stoned hobo. Uh, get some archers working on huts. Puts a wizard on that hut because that wizard is going to help set up his funnel here. Um, one golem down. Second golem is down. He's holding on to that third golem until this funnel is set. Ooh, very nice. Golem trips a couple of uh, giant double bombs there. And third golem is down. Has a couple of jumps. Not going to wall break in here. Queen is in. And funnel is set, so in comes the bowlers. There we go. I uh, was waiting for that queen to take out that uh, last uh, ar archer tower so that the bowlers wouldn't walk, and we're in. Um, second jump is coming down, hopefully pretty quick here. There we go. Now king has access to the queen, 
and he's going to take her out. Pops the ability on that king right there. Um, bowlers are doing their work, and he has used all of his spells at this point. You know, those are the two options with this uh, type of attack. He has a couple of of uh, giants to tank for these hogs here. Um, ooh, man, that's brutal losing those hogs. Um, here we go. Oh, yeah. Um, must have been a cleanup hit. I think he wanted to have those giants trip that uh, double bomb before he brings in these hogs. Um, bringing in some hogs up top now. Uh, not much for them to take, not, not much damage for them to take up there. It was a skeleton trap, which, as we all know, is the uh, annoying thing with uh, a hog attack, these skellies. Um, probably could have gotten that poison dropped right there and uh, eliminated some of those skellies. Um, regardless, he <laughs> finally drops the poison. It's tree stars in the bag. Nice job, swap now. All right. Oh, Savage. What would a recap be without a without Savage in it? So um, she's coming with the, the same sort of attack that we keep seeing. Um, if you haven't checked out the video on this attack, you should go and check it out. Uh, we talk about several different strategies um, for, for deploying this. Uh, the, the most common one is, is what you're seeing right here. Uh, four healers setting up this uh, very nice funnel on the outside. Um, not worrying about what's going to go in uh, as far as um, witches, what will go into the core with uh, the uh, main kill squad. Um, but uh, Savage sets down a golem here. Um, very, very nice funnel set up at this point. Now, the great thing about this base, this is a perfect base for it. Notice the air defenses are inside. These are air, de air defenses are going to get taken out by the kill squad, and they're not going to be able to take out the um, healers that are on your witches. Also, uh, the big splash damage is already gone. All of the wizard towers were right up there on the entry. Um, so uh, she pushes in. Um, she's got a, a healer that's actually survived a little bit there. It's not going to make it through this because there's too many air defenses in there, and there it's gone at this point, but um, finally gets to that enemy CC. Uh, witches are still working their way around like they do. We'll speed this up just a little bit. Um, distracting point defenses and, and taking out whatever they can. Uh, a couple of cannons here take out that one witch that was left, um, but still have two witches and a bunch of skellies up top here. Um, They've worked their way around. Basically, uh, Queen still has her ability, um, has three healers out of the four that she started with, and it is uh, going to be GG here in just a second. There we go. Tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Rising Savage. Um, Hernando, I believe he also had a six-pack this war. Uh, we'll watch. No, this isn't the attack I wanted to see from him, actually. Uh, we've already seen Mitch. Yep, Hernando did have a six-pack. This is what I wanted. So check out this army composition. We've got seven Valks, six healers, two Pekkas. This is the Pekka Smash. We haven't seen this in a while. Um, it's still a viable attack, just as viable as it has been in the past. Um, so, uh, starts by taking out um, a, a, a few buildings over here, just with uh, two um, two Valks, uh, wants to set a funnel here for these Pekkas. Uh, two Pekkas down with two healers on the Pekkas, and it is in and just smash. That's that's the name of the game here. Queen, she's going to walk her way around here. Um, Pekkas will just beat through walls at this point, um, and, and they work through these walls fairly quickly. Uh, love that the bowlers stuck with the Pekkas there. That, that's always a, an, an added bonus. Uh, loses his last healers, but at this point doesn't matter. Those Pekkas are basically full strength. Um, going to beat through this wall here a little bit. Uh, has got um, a couple of, of archers down to clear out huts. Unfortunately, those healers switched over to that king. Um, had they been up here with the queen, it would have been nice because they would have filled that Pekka back up. Uh, but it doesn't matter because it is tree stars in the bag. Very nice job. Drops a couple of loons. It sucks when you bring two loons and the uh, last defense up is an air defense. Uh, but very nice job, Hernando.
All right. And we've already seen an attack by James. So um, that is it. That's all we're going to look at today. Um, again, this is the first week of CWL. North Awakens uh, gave us um, a run for our money, came down to the last second. Uh, we were trying to decide if we had to go for a triple on number one. You never want to have to make that type of decision, unfortunately. That's, that's the spot that we were in. Um, but props to you guys. You guys did a great job. Um, and good luck uh, in the future in CWL. This is Dr. D from One Hive Invicta saying clash hard.